So I've searched Google and I've searched Google Scholar. Now I'm going to search one of the databases or two of the databases that are available to me through the library. So here's our course site and I'm going to go to the link here called UCBA Online Library. And here I am. I know I'm at the right place because it says UC Blue Ash College Library. Yay. So now I want to go to the databases. So I'm going to click on databases. Now in the databases you'll notice it gives me an immediate option here called Academic Search Complete. Yay! I shall try Academic Search Complete. Now my topic, if you remember, is learning styles. So I'll just try learning styles first off. Wow, gives me some auto... Oh look, learning styles, concepts, and evidence. Hmm, that could be interesting. So now I'm going to search that and one of the things, okay, first I'm just going to look at what I got. So it gives me one through four of four. Okay, well that looks pretty interesting. Um, wow, they all look really good, don't they? Learning styles, concepts, and evidence. Ooh, I like that word, evidence. So say for example, I was going to try this one. So I'm very excited about this and I'm going to see down here that I get, ooh, Ooh, a PDF full text. Now, if I was more interested in this one, oh, find full text at UC. I don't immediately get a PDF of it. Eh. Ooh, look, internal validity and reliability of Kolb's learning style inventory, 1999. Interesting, I get a PDF full text for that one. And a study of the learning styles of undergraduate social work students. Hmm, a little less interested in that one. But I'm going to look into this guy right here. Now you notice the other thing that this tells me is that this is an academic journal, academic journal, academic journal, academic journal. Woo! Loving that. Some quality stuff. So what year is this? 2008. That's not too old. So I'm going to click on PDF. No, I'm going to click on the title here. Here comes the title. Yay! Thank you, title. And the title gives me an abstract. So I can read through the abstract and see if this is really something that I want to be able to use. The other thing I really like about Academic Search Complete is that I can go to over here on the right hand side, Site. I'm going to click on Site and we're using MLA in this class so I'm going to scroll down to MLA. Check it out. I love this. So I just copy and paste that. Now one of the problems with this is it's not always correct. I'm looking at this one and I see that it is correct, so that's very nice. I can pull this straight out, put it into my Word document, and I have my citation. Loving that. Now the other thing that I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to have to read it. So uh, I'm going to uh, go over here to the PDF full text, click on the PDF full text, and here is the article. I can print the article, I can download the article, and I've got a summary. Ooh, look at that summary. I got an introduction. Ooh, an overview of learning styles, doctrines, and industry. <laughs> that looks pretty interesting. So this is how I use Academic Search Complete. Academic Search Complete is useful to me because it will give me um, I, I, it, uh, a, good so, a good series of sources that I might be able to look at that are, that can be pretty reliable. But I'll still have to take a look at them to see is the author listed, are there citations, and run through the things that I that are important to know is what that would reveal the bias of the article also. Another place that I can go to in the Blue Ash Library is the Electronic Journal Center. In the Electronic Journal Center I do have to search it. So I have to browse the database and then I have to go to E, and I happen to know that it's on the next screen, and I scroll down, Electronic Journal Center, connect. And now that I've connected, I'm going, this has a, a, a wider variety of journals, but they're all academic journals, so I feel pretty confident the sources I'm going to find here are going to be pretty good. Um, but they're going to be hard to read. That's okay. Do your best. And I'm going to type in learning styles, learning preferences to see what I get from these guys. Chug, chug, chug. I see that it's thinking about my request. 
Tum ti tum. There we go. Syria? 2010? Fascinating. Wow, that looks really good. Now, I don't want to go to 1922. So I'm going to change my date range here because it, it gave me 45,000 sources. I'm going to be a little more specific about this. I want things from 2000 uh, to now. So now I'm going to ask, whoa, wrong one. Arc. Okay, now I'm going to ask it to search this. Tum -ti -tum. Now, all right. So this one from Syria, I'm pretty interested in that one because I didn't know they were doing that research there. Deductive versus inductive grammar and instruction. Oh no, they're, oh, preferences and learning styles. That's interesting. Ooh, it's an in system magazine, uh, syst the journal system. Fascinating. British Journal of Educational Technology. Strategies for accommodating individual styles and preferences and flexible learning programs. So I wonder to myself, now that I'm looking at these more recent pieces of research, are, th are they defining learning styles differently? I think they are. Or I think they might be. This is definitely something that I would want to look into. So, um, perspective, chemistry, teachers, learning styles, and learning preferences. How learning styles and preferences of first year nursing and midwifery students change. Okay, well, let's say I'm going to look at that one. All of these, I'm definitely going to have the PDF full text. So I'm very happy about that. I really like that a lot. I'm going to click on this title again. And on the title, I can... Um, get a citation here also. So if I want to download the citation, I want it in MLA. I say OK. Oh, and it used to show it to me. That's interesting. Can I email myself the citation? Oh, I have to log in. Can I export the citation? Where's it going to go? Oh, it downloads an RIS file. Well, this has gotten a little more complex than the last time I was here. So we can talk a little bit more about this one at another time. But here I get the PDF full text. So I'm going to click on PDF full text. I have an abstract. I can read through the abstract and get an idea of what's going on in the article. And then I can look at the introduction. Ooh, here's a discussion of learning styles. Ooh, it's nice and concise. So I can again print the article or download it to my computer. And that's using the um, Electronic Journal Center to search for articles, academic articles, that will give me some more sources that I can look at. So you can uh, look at, you can do Google, Google Scholar, Academic Search Complete, and the Electronic Journal Center as you're looking around for sources that will give you interesting information on your topic.